take serious QP. Everybody type OQP. OQP. Only quality people. Everybody type it. OQP. If I have another entire training on this, right? A whole food training on this, where I mention seven types of people that you need to work with this year. If you're serious about your own growth, right? Only quality people, only quality places, right? Only quality places this year, right? So I put it this way. Only quality people, only quality places, only quality thoughts. So this year is not the year I'm going to think negative. It's not the year I'm going to feel, well, what if I die this year? Are you kidding me? Then you're going to die because you brought the thought. Your thoughts create things. Your thoughts create your realities. So if you believe that, yeah, maybe you will die this year, then that's what's going to happen. This is the reason. I don't know if you've noticed that when people die, the people always say, ah, and he said something like that. Does anybody remember? You start hearing people say, ah, and he was talking dead. He was saying something we didn't know. He was trying to tell us he was going. Because your thoughts create your reality. So number four, OQI, only quality information, because it's your, the quality of information you are getting that influences your thought. Only quality information, right? So don't come to me. Somebody's, somebody died yesterday. Somebody lost money. Oh, do you know? Did you also do real estate? Everybody who did real estate in Nigeria have, have lost. Don't bring such negative thought. Oh, did you buy property in Dubai? They said Dubai is going to crumble. The economy will crumble. Don't bring negative thought. I'm not interested. Take it somewhere. Somebody else is interested. Sell it to them, not me. Only quality food. Only quality lifestyle. Right? So this year I've gotten a gym coach. I've gotten a tennis coach. I'm getting a, a, a golf coach. Only quality lifestyle. Right? You know, I had a very tough workout yesterday. My body's aching. And this, before, just two hours to this, I had a good massage, right? Quality lifestyle. How many of you are committed to that this year, right? Only quality people, only quality places, only quality thoughts, only quality, right, uh, information, only quality, right, lifestyle. Who is committed? Come on. I need your, guys, I told you I need your energy, right? So, you got to be energetic if you're going to flow with me this year. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I sting like a bee this year. So come on, move at my pace, guys. Right? Move at my pace. So you have to be committed to this. It's never going to be easy to have this, you know, this mind frame. This mind frame is not going to be easy. Very important. It's not. It's a tough one. When people want to bring you down, do you know that the first thing they attack is your, is your mindset, right? Is your belief system. Is all the resolution, all the things you say you're going to, you know, do. That's what people are going to attack first. They're going to say, come on, don't be deceived. I'll give you a very powerful testimony, right? Uh, some years ago, about five years ago, I started investing in a particular location in Nigeria. I so invested, I had four estates in that location. One of the things I was banking on was that the largest refinery in Africa was going to be built there. You know, there was going to be a free trade zone. There was going to be a seaport. I knew that that will magnetize people to that location. I knew that would mean that if I buy property there, years ahead, years later, the value of those property will have gone so up. But guess what? Boom. So a few years later, people started giving me negative information because the refinery construction also was delayed. So negative information started coming, negative thoughts. What if it doesn't work? You've put so much of your egg in this location. You've invested so much in this location. Voila, guys. Okay, next week, the refinery is going to be launched. A few months, weeks later, the uh, uh, seaport is going to be launched, right? The free trade zone is already active. Voila, the property that was going for, let's say, $2,000 
right now is going for almost $50,000. Boom, to your eye. All those who said it wasn't going to work, be careful. You know, and that's what I'm saying. Some people believe those negative thoughts. They allow those negative information. When people start telling them, don't mind them. This is going to collect your money. Don't believe in those stories. Those estates will not work. Those things will not work. Now, boom. You see? This is how rich people keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. Because the rich take risk. The rich will go for it. The rich will get good thoughts and be so optimistic. The poor will say, you know, you know, we have to be careful. I don't believe it. I trust nobody. You trusting nobody does not change the fact that those with the right information keep getting wealthy. Where are you? How far are you going? So my first gift, is this good? Come on, guys. If this is good, type this is good. This is good. I need your energy. I told you guys, today is energy. I need the energy to flow. Is this good? Is this is good type? Good, good. This is good. I need your energy. <laughs> Feel free, of course, like I said, get your loved ones in here. Get everybody to join us. It's going to be a great time today. Number two. Are you ready for number two? This is very important. You need to know that this new year is going to be a tough year, right? The signs are everywhere. Okay, the signs are everywhere. It's going to be a tough year. However, you can be proactive so that it's going to be your own best year. The toughest years have always been the best years for people who are smart, right? Only those who are not smart, who are not proactive, suffer. The rich keep getting richer even the tougher years. In fact, the rich always pray for the season to be tough. Because guess what? They know how to thrive in tough season. Okay? <laughs> they know. Okay? Look at what's going on now. Amazon has laid off. Okay? Right? Um, Amazon has laid off staff. It's crazy. When you look at the data, it's just alarming, guys. It's alarming. Let me share my screen so that you can see. Companies that laid off just in 2022. Meanwhile, more are planning to lay off, right? Just in 2022, we have Cisco lay off 5% in December 2022. DoorDash lay off 6% of their staff in November, right? Candy Digital lay off 3% of their staff, right? Redfin laid off 13% of their workforce. Uh, let me show you. So massive laying off. People are just laying off. Apple is about to do that. How do I know Apple is about to lay off? Apple just CEO just announced that it's taking a 40% pay cut. Okay, that is the info right there. When a whole CEO of Apple, nobody just want to take pay cut. But when a CEO of Apple is telling you he's taking pay cut, he's given that he has done it before and now announced how many staff he's going to lay off. So by the time people are saying, oh, why is Apple laying off? Well, I've done it. I'm the leader. I've reduced my own income as well. So if we need to do it to everybody as well. That's all that is going to happen. Amazon, massive layoff. 18,000 staff has been laid off by Amazon in January 4th. 18,000. Of course, we know Twitter has done theirs. We know Tesla did theirs way, way in advance. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg did his as well, right? We can go on and off. Goldman Sachs laid off 8%. Uh, Vimeo, 11%. Salesforce, 10%, right? Uh, uh, Compass, right? Uh, it's about to do theirs in January. Okay, Switch Fix did 20%, right? Meta laid off 13%, 11,000 staff, right? Twitter did theirs in November, as you can see in these records. So what is this? Am I trying to scare you? No, I'm just preparing you for what is about to happen in case you're not prepared. Don't be a victim. Even Netflix had, a, you know, had to lay off. Don't play victim. Many people play victim. 
is when it happened and I didn't know. I'm so sorry, Dr. Steven, please help me. I lost money. I didn't know the recession would happen. Everybody's been talking about recession. So where are you? Why are you not restructuring your personal finance such that if recession were to happen, you will be better off? You will not be a victim. This was what I did during COVID-19. I took a team, we cracked the code, and our company grew by 500% during COVID. Right? You have to build a structure to be resilient in crisis. Don't be a victim of crisis. Everybody, I want you to type it. I will not be a victim of crisis. Come on, everybody, type it right now. I will not be a victim of crisis. 2023 is a year of financial crisis. Mark my word. Because people are going to lose their job. Some already lost it. But do strategize so that you are not a victim. You're a victor. You're ahead. You've planned it. You've looked into it. You know ahead of time this was going to happen and I'm going to react in this way. That is what smart people do. They read the signs and they prepare for it. I have made up my mind. I am going to be richer in 2023 than 2022. I don't care if the whole world crash. I will be among those who will be victor and I'm not going to be a victim. Right? I'll be way, way on top because the money hasn't disappeared. The money is still in the world. You just need to now know how to get it. Now, I wanted to ask a question. I need somebody to answer. If you get this correctly, I'm going to give you a book. Right. Yes, you heard me. I will give you one of my books. Now, what do you think is the number one solution to the economic challenges that is going to happen in 2023? What do you think is the number one personal solution that everybody watching me can do right now? so that they are not victims. Victory, cheap ways, it says, invest in real estate. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ulusha says digitization. Abdul Latif says investment. Um, Thomas the second source of income. Understanding. How do you be self-prepared? Aguda says learn finance and invest it. Oh, who is Aguda? That's the, per, the winner. Aguda is very correct. Aguda, if you don't have the Billionaire Habit book, right, send uh, a message to my PA. He's going to give you the intro copy of the Billionaire Habit book. You got it right. The number one thing to overcome being a victim of the crisis that is about to happen is knowledge, is information. Invest in knowledge, not even invest in investing because, okay, how do I even know the right type of investment? How do I even know which investment is going to go down in 2023, which one will not go down? Until I invest in the knowledge, right? How do I know what will work and what will not work? So the first thing you want to do in 2023 is to invest in knowledge. You want to arm yourself with quality information so that you know, okay, if the worst happened, this is 10 things you can do, right? If you lose your job right now, these are the things you can do, okay? If, you know, uh, uh, um, other investment sources crash, these are the other ones that will not crash. These are the investment opportunities. These are the vehicle. These are the opportunities that even do better in a time of recession, in a time of crisis. That should be the first thing you should dig in. So I see people wanting to say, okay, the economy is going to crash. So I'm going to invest in crypto. What if crypto doesn't work? Oh, I'm going to invest in real estate. What if the type of real estate you are about investing in will not work? What if? So the first thing to do is the knowledge. Can I get somebody who understands how these things work? who in his personal life has made it more in terms of crisis that can help me navigate. I hold a person by the, by the shoulder. As all through this year, be my coach. It's not going to be free. It's not going to be cheap. 
First of all, let me announce this. If some of you are here expecting me to coach you for free, it's not going to happen. I would rather give you scholarship. I would rather give grants than train anybody for free. You either pay or you serve. And I'm not doing it because I'm wicked. It's to your own advantage, right? This year, um, I'm going to be giving 24 people $5,000 each to support their business. Next year, I'm going to increase it to 48 people. And by 2027, we're going to be giving 1,000 entrepreneurs $5,000 to support their business. This year, I'm going to be uh, you know, giving 1,000 people grants, and my, my um, what's it called, my bursary to support their education. But guess what? This year, I am not coaching anybody for free because you will not value it. If you, listen, let me tell you one powerful thing. Let me tell you one powerful thing. Never invest your time and energy with people who are not committed in their own growth. Never do it. It will be a waste of time and energy. Do not put your energy with people who are not committed to their own growth. Don't do it. Don't do it. All my mentors, all of them, I'm the one that had to give them something. They are way richer than I do. You know why? I, I needed to prove to them that I'm committed to my own growth. And that I'm not taking their time for granted. And I will do everything I can to cherish and to value everything they are going to be teaching me. Right? This is how you grow to the next level. Get somebody who, it doesn't have to be Stephen Akita. Get a mentor this year. How many of you have a mentor that is worth a million dollars? And I'm not talking about a mentor. You are the ones claiming the person is your mentor. I'm talking about the person knows he's mentoring you. If you have a mentor that is worth a million dollars, type one. If you don't have, type two. Don't lie here, right? If you have a mentor, is worth a million dollars. Okay, maybe I need to go lower. How many of you here have a mentor who is worth at least half a million dollars? If you have a mentor that is worth at least half a million dollars, type one. If you don't have type two. Now, don't come and say, Dr. Stevie, you are my mentor. I'm not your mentor. I'm your role model at best. I'm not your mentor. If I'm your mentor, I will go through a program. Mentorship involves a program. The person is, there is something you are going through. There's a curriculum. There's something you are, you know, being part of. There's a content the person has created to help you to grow. It's not just that you're following the person from afar. Somebody you are watching from afar, like many of you follow me on social media, you consume a lot of my content. I'm more of a role model. You want to be as wealthy as I am. You're trying to pattern your business after mine. That's a role model. That's not yet a mentor. A mentor, there is a program. There's some. No matter how little, there is a program involved. So this year, now I'm seeing a lot of you now raise the game. Everybody type, raise the game, raise the game. With this foolishness, ladies and gentlemen, for you to want to be worth a million dollars, and you don't even have a mentor that is worth a million dollars, raise your game. And how do you raise your game? Raise the quality of person giving you information. Raise the quality. So some years ago, I had to raise my own quality of person giving me information to say, hey, Stephen, you need billionaires in dollars mentoring you this year if you will ever become a millionaire in dollars. And I, I started that journey. Today now, all my mentors are millionaires in dollars, at least those who are mentoring me in the direction of personal finance, growing my empire, growing my business, they're millionaires in dollars. And I intentionally looked for them. They didn't look for me. I looked for them. I chased them. I begged them. I did everything to make sure we created that relationship. I, and I made sure it was worth their time. I made sure I pay. There is a two way to pay for mentorship. You can serve the person. Everybody said, serve the person. Come on, everybody type it. Serve the person. Go and meet the person and say, I want to work for free. Uh, how many of you know Dan Locke? How many of you know Dan Locke? If you know Dan Locke type, I know him. If you don't know him, you better go and Google him and start following him. That's another great speaker. 
that lock, you know, was a, a, an Asian man just relocated to Canada. His parents were not wealthy. And he knew, he learned that he needed a mentor, just like I'm teaching you. He learned about it. And there was this man into real estate in his city in Canada. He went to, you know, to the person and said, I need you to mentor me. The man said, I don't have the time. You can afford me. You know, so, hey, young man, I can't mentor you. I'm sorry. You know, it's okay. I'm ready to work. The man didn't give him. He said, look, I'm ready to serve you for free. Don't pay me. The man didn't attend to him. You know what he did? The following day, he resumed very early and connected with the janitor of the man's office and said, can I partner with you? I'm going to be cleaning this office with you. I'm not asking anybody to pay me. I'm not an employee, but I'm just going to support you to be cleaning this office every morning. So, of course, janitor got a, a, a free partner to work with him. What will he say? So fine. <laughs> Take them all. Let's go. Let's do it. Here he comes, this particular mentor, right? Resuming the office. And he saw that lock cleaning the floor with the janitor. When he moved past him, the next day he came again, saw that lock still cleaning. And he knew this guy was educated. Cut the long story short. It didn't take time before the man allowed him to work. It wasn't necessary to get any tangible pay, but he finally learned how to become wealthy by working for this man without pay. Okay, today we know that lock, you know, high ticket coaching. He doesn't even do, do cheap coaching programs. His coaching is $10,000, $20,000 and above, right? But the man served the mentor who opened his eyes to how he could be successful. Number two way to, to uh, you know, get a mentor is to pay. Everybody say, pay, 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 pay. Everybody, come on, I pay. So if you couldn't, and, and this is for people who say, hey, uh, you know, I can't create a time to go and serve somebody, right? I can't afford to leave my job and go and work for somebody for free. I can't afford to go and be volunteering for free. It then means maybe you have a job, maybe you have a higher paying job or something, you know, then go pay for it. Now, hear this. Recipe for disaster is when you cannot serve and you cannot pay. Now you want to become a robber because you want to reap where you did not sow. Are you learning, guys? If you're learning, type of learning. Recipe for disaster is when you want a man to teach you his trade secret and you cannot pay and you cannot serve. That is as good as robbery. You have to do one of it. The, there is a, a, a learning method being studied by Harvard University and is done by the Igbo tribe in Nigeria. A man as a young age, you go and serve a master for a couple of years. He will serve this person for like seven years. After seven years, the master will then set him up in his own business and then he goes off. And Harvard University realized that this has become the secret behind some of the most successful African businesses that when you call the owner of those businesses and say, how did you make it? They say, I worked for somebody. I didn't go to school, but I, a man gave me an opportunity to work for him. He wasn't paying me. I was living in his house, but I served him for seven years. After seven years, I had known a lot and he gave me some money and I became my capital for starting my own business. It's called apprenticeship. So if you cannot come and become an apprentice under somebody, you are also not willing to pay to get the knowledge the person has, then you want to be a robber because you want to reap what you do not sow. And it is wrong. It's wrong. You must be willing to do either of these two. It's a powerful principle for growth if you are really, really serious. So number three key that I'm investing in, I've been doing and I keep doing, is that this year, 2023, I'm getting more quality information. Number four, I am getting, uh, I'm sustaining my mentorship relationship with my billionaire mentors. Okay. Can I tell you one of the things my billionaire mentor said to me? So, Stephen, if you are serious about this, doing a billion dollars in sales, okay, 
2023, do not personally be involved in a transaction less than one to $10 million. Don't do it. Let your other genius staff handle it and announce it to the world that anybody do anything less than a million to $10 million should not even come near you. Let them know. They said, but I'm going to chase people away. They say, yes, but you're going to attract the people who can afford that kind of money. And that's exactly what happened. I did a post one day. I was marketing a property of $46 million. And I made this statement. I mean, this is why you need mentors. They give you audacity. And I made the statement. Guys, this year, if you can't do a million dollars and above, don't even come near me. You need to see the insult on Facebook. Many people, oh, what are you talking about? That is arrogance, arrogance. Another person say, that's pride. I can see pride. <laughs> I see pride is, is a physical thing that you can see with, with, with a tetoscope or something. You know, I then people started talking. And my mentor said to me, now you see that you have a lot of people who can afford you. They don't hate you. They're just angry that you are saying <laughs> that you now are off the market and you are no longer affordable for them. They don't hate you. They're just angry. It's just painful, okay? That this guy is telling, and then some of them, they're really angry enough, they will figure out their personal finance so that they can afford you. And that's what happened with some of them. So on the side saying to me, Dr. Steven, I'm gonna work harder and very soon I'll be able to afford your $46 million property. Very soon I'm gonna step up my game, okay? And I'll be able to afford property from you. And I said, these are the kind of people. But guess the good news actually, the people who have been following me all this while, who apparently, where millionaires and dollars started reaching out to me and said, so what property do you have? I say, oh boy, what if I had not done what my mentor said to me? What if I continued this culture of, you know, I don't want to get people angry. You know, I don't want to sound, you know, brash. I don't want to sound like, you know, I, I, I don't want to sound somehow. Listen to me. Niceness does not pay the bills. Everybody type it, come on. Niceness does not pay the bills. I want everybody to type it right now. Niceness does not pay the bills. Enough of being nice. Okay? Niceness does not pay the bills. You ain't going to be richer by being nice. You will not. If at, at all anything will likely happen to you, niceness is going to get you poor. It's going to get you broke. How many people have gone to jail because they are nice. Many people have lost their fortune because they are nice. Okay? This, listen, let me tell you this powerful statement. This world does not give you what you want. It gives you who you are. Let me say it again. This universe does not give you what you want. This universe gives you who you are. And for you to be a billionaire, a millionaire has to happen to you mentally. You have to build a relationship that begins to ask you to behave in that way. Wealth is a lifestyle. Wealth is a mindset before it's actually physical. So there's a mindset behind this thing. I'm not very excited about this, this lecture today. Come on, guys. If you're excited, type I'm excited. I do. Are you excited? I need your energy. I told you this year, I need your energy, man. Right? So imagine if I did not connect to a billionaire mentor. Imagine where I'm going to be right now. Imagine if I also connected but did not practice what the billionaire mentor asked me to do because I'm scared of social media backlash, what people are going to say, okay? Because I want to continue to be nice, as if niceness will pay the bills. These people on social media do not exist, guys. They don't exist. <laughs> they just talk. And if you live your life as if social media is that real, you're going to be poor for a long, long time. Okay? So it's time to get a mentor. How many of you want that to be me? If you want me to be your mentor, can I see your hands up? You want me to mentor you? Come on, let me know. 
You can tap, tap mentor me. You can tap it as well. How many of you? Oh, Nika, can you afford me? That's the question. <laughs> can you afford me? It's a very important question. So here's the thing. I've done something very powerful for you this year because I really, really mean business. And I want to see as many of you as we can help. I've done something powerful where we can work with you based on where you are. So we have various category of mentorship in this year that you can determine which one you can afford. First category, YouTube. Everybody say YouTube. That's the first category, YouTube. So you can go right now to my YouTube channel, right? And be able on that YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you can watch. I have put in thousands of content. So if you come to this page, www.mentor.stevenakita.com or stevenakita.com forward slash mentor me, okay? So you look at this URL. I've highlighted the URL. Can you all see it? Right? www.mentorme.stevenakita.com or stevenakita.com forward slash mentor me. When you scroll down, you see free mentorship, number three. You click on it on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is one of the largest, right? There's so much quality information there. By the way, they even put the wrong YouTube channel. What's going on, guys? Um, is my IT team here? Why are you guys putting the wrong? You no wonder the YouTube channel is in growth. So this is my old, old YouTube channel. Is um, Steven Actel TV, right? But it's the old YouTube channel. I have a new YouTube channel. And I've told my, no wonder. I told the team. See why sometimes you need to check some things for yourself, right? They will tell you, we've done it, boss. <laughs> but they didn't do it. So the real YouTube channel, guys, is, is let me see whether it's here. Okay, let me just search for it. It's Dr. S. Akintari. That's the real, the new YouTube channel. I want to go there. I just uploaded my latest blog, you know, where I hosted the guy who did $1.2 billion in property sales. You, you just want to listen to people like that. So this is the channel, Dr. S. Akintari. Now, some of you are asking for a recording of today's show. You can go there after today's show. The video will be there waiting for you. Okay, Dr. S. Akinta, go watch it right now. So subscribe. It's important you subscribe to the channel so that you're constantly getting a, a lot of quality information. This is how I can mentor you for free. No cost to you. Okay, you know, absolutely free. Now, number two way, uh, or category the of best. mentorship that because he's getting all the energy and all the focus. You want to focus on so, what you want, not what you don't want. You, it's okay to notice what you don't want because that gives you contrast to I say, well, this is what I do. By the way, but the fact is, that. the more you talk about what this you don't want, or talk about how bad it is. The secret, law of attraction. Everybody write this movie down, go and watch it. The secret. It's about law of attraction. All of you should go watch this movie. It's gonna, if you've watched it before, go watch it again, right? I've watched it like twice this year, right? The Secret, The Law of Attraction, powerful movie. Um, so this is the URL, stevactel.com for shall mentor me, okay? So number one on that platform is, like I told you, my YouTube channel. Go there and it's gonna change your life. Number two is the Stephen Akita University. Everybody says Steven Akita University. Now, this is a, a, a place where ev for $247 a month, you can get over 1,000 content, 1,000 courses. You can write an exam. You can get a certificate. We have Robert Kiyosaki is there. Les Brown is there. Grant Cardo is there. Steven Akita is there. Name it. All the great guys are there. Their contents are there exclusively for this university, right? You can go there and you not only will you watch and learn, 
you can write a quiz and get a certificate in each of these courses. Life changing. But guess what? There is some you know, goodies for you today. So I'm going to show you that later. But this is $247 every month. Number two, is, or number three for, for the purpose of this class is called group coaching program. So you can join the real estate one, you can join crypto, you can join Forex, you can join, um, you know, uh, how to be an author, how to be a speaker. But this goes for between $5,000 to $10,000 for this category. It's a group of 10 people. And is it, I love programs like this because you are even able to have meet other great guys that you can work with. Then we have the one-on-one -on -one coaching program. We have the one-day one-on-one coaching program. We have the per hour coaching program. The per hour is a thousand dollar per hour, and I will be with you for one hour. Right? We have the uh, five thousand for a day. If you are in Dubai, I even host you at Burj Khalifa. We have lunch and dinner together. I'll share a couple of things with you. All right, we have the six months coaching uh, for 15,000. Then we have the one year coaching for $20,000. So that is, those are the various categories of ways I can mentor. And these are a lot of testimonies from different people who have shared the testimony. One of my students last year for the one-on-one $20,000 program, the guy did over $50 million in sales last year. Yeah over $50 million in sales because he subscribed for the one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So these are the ways I can be of tremendous support for you. I don't know if you think this is good. If you think this is good, type this is good, this is good, this is good. Come on, guys, talk to me. I don't know if you think this is good, right? So a lot, I, do you now see that there are different categories? So everybody can be mentored. Do you agree with me? that with this now, you, there's no excuse. Nobody can say, oh, but Dr. Steven, because there's a category, there's everybody has a category with this, right? Everyone can get something, uh, can start at some level, uh, can go for what they can afford. And I think that's the best uh, one. But here's the good goodies, okay? But unfortunately, this goodie ends today. If I this had ended, but I'm going to extend it to those of you who are here. Now, imagine getting my next conference, which is happening on my birthday. It's called the Global Wealth Festival. Getting a virtual ticket to attend that event, right? Imagine getting a free one month access to Stimactel University, which is $247. Imagine getting another two hour session with me later. We're going to be having two hours at the end of the month. Imagine also getting a recording of the Global Brokers Festival and the Global Web Festival we did in the US, the one we did in the UK, the one we did in London, right? Uh, $250 each, that's another of, of about $1,000. Imagine getting the billionaire habit, the billionaire code, but not just that, the latest three books that I have, the billionaire land banker, the billionaire habit for entrepreneurs, and the billionaire habits for pastors. You're getting all of that for just $47. Come on. Isn't this good? So please use the coupon code BEDDAY, okay? And visit the website right now, globalwealthfestival.com forward slash employee. This is a promo for employee and you can take advantage of it and you will be able to get all of this. Now, if you have more money, you can go for this version. It's for entrepreneurs. Now, this will give you two virtual tickets to the Global Web Festival holding on my birthday, 28th of January. So instead of one, you're getting two uh, uh, virtual tickets, right? You're also going to get one month access. You're also going to get in the two hours. Everything we had mentioned earlier, you're getting. But not just that, guys. You're getting four extra books. They didn't even add it here. I don't know why on being an entrepreneur. I have a, four books on the sales machine, right? Um, it's, I don't know what I told you there. This is, you didn't add the, the extra books, right? So you're having four extra books that they didn't list here. You're gonna be getting that a really powerful book, life-changing. That's going for $97 
instead of you paying $1,446. So if you're an entrepreneur, I advise you go for this particular package. Again, just go to the same website, globalwealthfestival.com forward slash entrepreneur. Then use the coupon code BETDAY, right? So for $97, you're good on this. This is the current promo going on. The employee promo is ended already. Can somebody help us type the website? Again, www, you can see it. Aren't you seeing my screen for somebody asking for the link? Global Wells festival.com forward slash entrepreneur. Okay. That's the current one, entrepreneur. And then use the coupon code BETDAY and it will reduce the price from $1,456 to just $97 for you. What a way to run the new year. And then the last offer we're gonna be running is the Grand Access Promo. Now this gives you access to all my now 40 books, 40 books, you're getting all. Not just that you're getting the audio version, you're getting the masterclass um, for each of the, the ones that have masterclass. Um, all of it now is worth over $3,000. You're getting for just $197. Now you'll also be getting VIP tickets, meaning you'll be part of the dinner, right? If you're not physically in Dubai, you'll be watching it virtually, right? If you're not in Dubai, you'll be watching both the dinner. Now, the other ones only give you access to the conference in the morning, but the VIP ticket gives you access to the dinner as well. So I'm being told you guys can't see my screen. Oh, sorry about that. But somebody should have informed me all this well. Ah, so sorry about that. Okay, can you guys see my screen now? So this screen one, employee promo is ended already. The website is globalwealthfestival.com forward slash employee. The second one, is what entrepreneur promo, right? And that you go to www.globalwebfestival.com for slash entrepreneur, use the coupon code BETDAY. Now the last one is the one I'm expect, Grand Assets. You get all my books, 40 books in total. You get audio copies of them. You will get uh, all the other pro bonuses we're giving those who paid for ent entrepreneur promo but the extra bonus is all my 40 books, right? For just $197 instead of $3,056, right? So you can go right now, and this thing gives you one month access to the Sivatel University, powerful opportunity, and you don't want to joke with it. Are you learning, guys? How many of you are taking advantage of this? If you're taking advantage of it, type me, 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 me. Right now, and please, procrastination, these offers are not here forever. So you have to go do it right now. I have six more, more things to tell you. So I'm not, I've not ended today's class. We've just started. Are you tired? <laughs> are you tired or you are ready for more? If you're ready for more, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on. If you're ready for more, let me know. Or if you're tired, I, I mean, I, I could wrap up, right? I could wrap up if you're tired. But if you're ready for more, type I'm ready, I'm ready. Now, why I showed you all of this is because this will position you in an exceptional way for the new year, right? Because if you can have access to all my books, you have access to the Steve Actel University, and all these contents are there for you to support you this year. You can't fail by the grace of God. You can't. Because remember when we shared two things you need, right knowledge and right mentorship, right? And this we go a long way. So are you ready for number, number uh, five thing I'm going to be sharing with you? If you're ready for number five, type I'm ready. Now, this is very, very important. And I've seen a lot of people struggle with this but I encourage you to do it. Life insurance, everybody type life insurance. Let me clearly let you know that I don't have a life insurance 
right, uh, company that I'm trying to promote to you. So I'm not saying this because I have some life insurance business I'm promoting, but this is very important. I think one of the smartest thing for anyone in this season of of, of of uncertainty is insurance. Something happened here in Dubai, and I think it's fantastic that the Dubai government decided to do this. They have a new employee insurance where if you lose your job for three months, you are going to be getting your salary for three months. I don't know if you think that's cool. The Dubai government came up with that. So what they've done is that in the three months while you're looking for a new job, right? And you know what was was crazy about this insurance that Dubai government did for em employees is that the, the insurance is less than uh, um, two dollars. It's actually one dollar for the something cents per month that you're going to pay. So for a whole year, the insurance you are pay for a whole year is about. Um, it's just about like $20 a year or so. Yeah, about $20 a year. And if anything happened, right, you will get your full three month salary. Okay, almost full, almost full. They give you a range, right? But you're going to get that three month salary, whatever was the three month salary, you're going to get it for three months, right? Uh, to sustain you while you're looking for another. I think it's important for people to become smarter. In times of uncertainty, in a season where you're not sure, business is not sure, job security is not sure, insurance with, of course, credible insurance company is one major thing that you want to do. You want to have a life insurance, right? If anything happened to you, if an emergency happened to you, let there be a system that releases money to you. God is not against insurance, right? And, and I've seen people, you know, religionize this thing and just say, oh, God is my insurance. And, and we just want to stop those nonsense. We've seen pastors suffer. We've seen clergy people suffer. Uh, I'm talking about a relative. When they died, when my mother died, right, she didn't have insurance, but thank God she was a civil servant. So her pension was paid after a couple of months, before the pension was paid, we were so struggling that we had days we didn't eat for days. Days. In other words, I don't know where we would be today if my mother had not had some pension that we had children could have leveraged on after she died because she was our breadwinner, right? And we were, most of us were still young when she died. I was just about graduating from school when my mother died of ovarian cancer. So it's important that you want to begin to say, what kind of life insurance can I do for myself, right? For my family. It's important. If you're serious about protecting yourself this year, about you know, you know, personally securing your finances this year, you want to do that right away. Don't even joke with this. What's going on? IT team, jam you. Uh, Tochi Farouk, Fumi said that she used the coupon code birthday uh, and, um, you know, it's still not working, it's invalid. So can you attend to Fumi right now, please? Number six, are you ready? Come on, I need your energy, guys. Are you ready? Number six, number six. If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Number six, are you ready? Raise a fund for a big project. Everybody says, raise a fund. College fund for your kids, right? Property fund. Um, which other fund? Emergency fund, right? Charity fund, if you're already rich. Well, charity fund should be done by everyone, right? Honestly, at whatever level you are, let there be a fund that you want to use to support people who are beneath your level. Because everyone can help, right? Everybody should be a giver, right? Because giving opens more doors for you spiritually as well. However, you need to raise a fund for some of your major, major needs in the future. For a lot of your future needs, you need to raise a fund. 
my wife and I had to do a, a college fund for our kids, right? Now, <laughs> I had already done a real estate fund, by the way, where in every estate that I have, all my commission is going towards, uh, you know, I've not been collecting commission for many years. And all my co commission is going towards a land and that land belongs to my children. And the goal is if I eventually need to sell those land in future, which I doubt, most likely I will build houses on those land and rent it out. But my goal is whether I don't build house on those land and I decided to sell it in future or I decide to build a house and rent it out. By the time my kids are ready to go to college, whether it was Harvard, whether it's Yale, well, I don't care what how expensive the college is, the money will be waiting. Come on, everybody type, the money must be waiting. Raise a college fund that will be waiting for future needs. I want everybody to type this. Everybody, except you're angry with me. Are you angry with me? Because this is about your future, guys. Everybody, I want you to type, raise a college fund that will be waiting for your future, for your future needs. Everybody write it again. Raise a college fund that will be waiting for your future needs. Everybody, I want everybody to type it. Because sometimes when you type these things, it helps your brain to retain certain things and to remember certain things. One more time, raise a college fund, okay, that will be waiting for your future needs. So I sit down right now and say, so what's likely? It could be health needs as well. You could raise a fund for your health, right? Raise a fund for your health. For example, you cannot be diabetic right now that you're already on medication. You cannot have high blood pressure right now and you're already on medication and you are not raising an emergency health fund into your future. It doesn't even make sense because the older you get, the more complicated those health issues. And you shouldn't wait till one day some emergency will happen and then people are going to be saying, oh, you know, you don't have the funds to handle it. No. Start putting something aside. Make a commitment today and say, you know what? I'm going to be putting 5% of my money uh, every month. I'm going to put in X percent. So what me and my wife are doing, and a particular amount every month goes into the college fund for the kids. Liquid funds now. Of course, there's a real estate version of it that I told you as well that has been done as well. But I, we're doing real estate version. We've done real estate version. We're doing liquid version where the money is with is with an insurance company when it's needed. Boom! We just do a mail and the funds are released. How many of you think you will do this? If you're going to do this, type I will do this. I will do this. I'm begging you. This again. I'm being practical here. I don't teach what I don't do. And that's why I laugh sometimes when people say motivational speaker. First of all, I am not going to be a demotivational speaker. I'm here to motivate you. I don't want to demotivate you. I'm here to inspire you. But I'm not just so-called your regular kind of motivational speaker. What I'm doing is teaching you what I'm doing. Many people mocked me years ago when I wasn't this wealthy. Many people say all I was doing was a hoax. Today now, you know, again, you know how people, until you start flashing around, because I now live in Burj Khalifa, some people now believe it's true. Can you imagine how petty we can be? Human beings can be very petty. So five years ago, because I couldn't afford Burj Khalifa, it meant what I was teaching wasn't real, right? Three years ago, because I wasn't living in Banana Island, does it mean what I was teaching wasn't real? And this is where people miss it. Because unfortunately for many of you, now that you believe what I'm teaching is real, you can't, some of you can't afford me, right? Because in those days, I remember when I started, I literally was begging to teach people what I know. I'm like, I found gold. I found a principle that guaranteed I'm going to be rich for the rest of my life and that for the next three generations, nobody in my lineage can be poor, right? My children will just be rich just because they carry my name. I said all that. Many didn't believe today they believe. Now, 
But those years, they could have afforded, it was easy. I was willing to mentor even for free. Today, now you have to pay through your nose to get my attention because I'm, my time is a lot more expensive right now. I can't afford people. I'm intentionally, put, for example, my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, I only take 10 people every year. So intentionally, I'm making it expensive because I can't take too many people anymore. I can't even when I want to, even if I want to, I just can't. Claire Tors Omen says, please, so I pay directly to GT Bank for the employee promo. Yeah, go ahead and send an email. So for any one of you who paid for any of this stuff, just send a mail to products, right? Particularly when you do manual payment, send to products at stevenakintayo.com. Okay, make sure you add your phone number so that in case they need to call you and put your country code. Some of you, when you're putting your phone number, you don't put your country code. So please do that. Put your country code, send a mail, show evidence of payment, put your phone number, and the team will be able to give you what you paid for, right? Very, very important. Please, once you make payment for anything, send a mail to products at stevenakintyre.com. The word product, just add an S, P-R-O-D-U-C-T-S, at stevenakintyre.com. Olua Tokpe says she can't find the link for the $197 product, the grant access promo. So again, you want to go to www.globalwealthfestival.com forward slash grand access. Okay. Can you guys help me type it on Facebook as well? Global Web Festival, the conference at Grand Assets. Go there, they use bet day, and you should be able to work on that. But how many of you have been enjoying this class so far? If you have been enjoying it, just type, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. So number, number six, I believe, right? Very important, raise a fund for future needs. Right, raise a fund for future needs. Don't let certain things meet you as an emergency. And then suddenly you're not prepared. Suddenly you're stuck. Suddenly you're shocked. Suddenly you play victim and say, oh, the world has not been fair. You could have been building that funds gradually. And that's what rich people do. Rich people have all kinds of funds, all kinds of emergency funds. So in the days of crisis, it doesn't affect rich people because they have prepared for the rainy day. Number seven, if you're ready for number seven, type I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on guys, I need your energy right now. I need your energy right now, guys. Are you ready for number seven? If you're ready for number seven, just type I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, are you ready? <laughs> number seven, if you're ready for number seven, type I'm ready. Live the lifestyle of who you want to be and not the lifestyle of where you are. This is a powerful secret that changed my life. I don't live like where I am. I live like where I'm going. I know this is a very tough one. It's a difficult one to do for many people, right? And a lot of people even attack this. They will attack this. A lot of the friends you know will attack this. A lot of people you know will attack this. But this is the way to step up your game this year. If your lifestyle does not change, your income can change. Please write it down. If your lifestyle does not change, your income can change. You have to start behaving like where you're going and not where you are. Many of us are behaving like where we are. And we're expecting things to change. I'll give you a practical illustration. How many of you woke up this morning and then you were going to church or you're going for a meeting and decided not to dress until you got to the location of where you're going? Anybody? Did anybody do that? <laughs> Will people not call you insane? 
you literally will be taken to the psychiatric clinic if you do that. Now, the question is, if you always dress for where you're going, in other words, before you get to where you're going, you dress for it. Why not do that about your finances as well? Why not do that about your life as well? Right, why? <laughs> so why are you dressing like where you are? Because you're poor, now you must dress like poor person. It doesn't make sense. You should dress like a rich man. That's how this works. So dress for where you're going. Let your lifestyle reflect where you're going. So many years ago, I asked myself, if I want to be rich, what kind of game do rich people play? They say it's golf. I said, now I'm going to learn how to play it. So I went to the golf course. Of course, I couldn't even, you know, when I heard the cost of becoming a member of the golf course, I said, you know what, let's leave the membership for now. <laughs> okay? Can I just play and um, leave membership, right? Because some of the golf courses, by the way, in Africa, I, I think they intentionally made the membership expensive so that it can be like an exclusive club. Because in Africa, you, you literally an average mem golf membership can be as expensive as $5,000. And you still pay yearly. Some are even way more expensive than $5,000, right? Some are as high as $10,000. So it was quite high. I said, okay, but can I just come and play you know, and I pay pass, you know, I said, fine. And I started and I started and I realized how these guys will come way richer than I do. I saw their mannerism, I saw their courage, I saw their disposition. I sometimes overheard them having conversation and striking deals as a hmm, right? So I said, wow. I cannot look like my problem. I have to look like where I am going. Woo, come on. I have to look like where I'm going, not where I am. I can't look like the problem I have. I can't look like my current position. I have to look like where I'm going. I have to look like a million bucks. And this is very important, particularly for some of you whose business involves sales, you're an entrepreneur, you are into sales. You need to know, for example, nobody will pay you money they think you've never handled before. Everybody write that. Come on, this is, oh, I'm feeling myself right now. Mm, this is deep. But you write that down. Nobody will pay you money they think you've never, okay, handled before. Even if the money is in your money, let's assume you're working for a company. Let's assume you're working for Emma. You live in Dubai. And you're working for Emma. Emma has luxurious property. Emma is the owner of, of, of uh, built Burj Khalifa. Now, let's assume, right? You're selling uh, a three-bedroom apartment here in Burj Khalifa for Emma. Remember, they're not even going to pay to your account. They're going to pay it straight to Emma's account. And that three bedroom, let's assume, is worth a million dollars to buy one. If you don't act, you don't look and you don't act like you have ever seen a million dollars, you can be face to face with somebody ready to pay. And then the person say, you know what? I am not sure I'm comfortable with you. In fact, the client sometimes will not mind calling Emma directly and go into Emma sales office and go and pay directly to Emma. Just because even when the person knows that they are not paying to you, they are just not sure. They're just scared. You don't look like $10 million. You don't look like $1 million. I am not sure you have the lifestyle of somebody who has ever seen a million dollars, who has ever touched a million dollars. I am not going to do it. So, if you want your personal finance to change this year, quit, okay, flying with the dogs. Hang around egos. Hang around egos, ladies and gentlemen. There's a powerful illustration. I'll give one more illustration. This is powerful, guys. 
Come on, are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Okay. Again, um, the IT team, people are complaining. The birthday code is not working. Can I get the IT team to jump on this, guys? Farouk, can you get the IT team? And once this is fixed, let me know. Right? It's still not working. It's like you don't want these people to get this promo. My guys feel that I'm giving too much discount, so they don't want you to take advantage today. If you want to be an ego, you have no business walking with dogs. You have no business. You've said, I want to fly with eagles. Go meet eagles. Walk with eagles. Move with eagles. Go where eagles. Go where eagles are. Some of you have made a resolution. 2023, I'm an eagle. I'm an eagle. This is my year. This is my eagle year. But you are still swimming with the ducks. Hello, duck. I duck. It will work. It will work. There's a powerful, you know, statement that the the the, the Sheikh of Dubai, Sheikh Al Maktoum, great man. I love the man. Right? He's one of my leadership role 